for me, this series is about showcasing Māori people, the skills that they have, the whakaaro that they have in business, the way they think, the way they operate, the way they do what they do. Māori people uh, speak about their passions, their kaupapa, their businesses, creating awareness for how awesome our people are and really ultimately help change the perception of people out there towards Māori people because man, we all <laughs> Today we get to catch up with Bowman Weehungi, the co-chair of Nafa Springs, all the way in Northland, Kaikuhi. Me and the team, we went back to our motels. We ended up walking to reception and asking the bro, oh, you know, what's there to do around here? And he pulled out this map. And then I saw Nafa Springs on the map and I was like, oh, Nafa Springs, like we can go there. It just happened to be the first day that Nafa Springs was open to the public. For me, it was a sign that we were there for a reason. It was a tohu, it was a sign that, yo, you guys are in the right place you're meant to be. We got the chance to, to call it all with the vice chair about Nafa Springs. Wairoro te awa, ko māpere te roto, ko tākauere te tanifa, ko māmari te waka, ko ko pauma mihongi taku ima. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Kia ora hui mai tātou katoa. It's a, it's a healing place. It's a, it's a tonga or treasure uh, gifted from, from our tūpuna. Of, of course, a lot of the, the pools here um, were used traditionally as uh, a place where women, uh, after giving birth, would find uh, relief here. I suppose in a modern day context, it's more about um, using that kōrero to help heal a lot of the the, the, the sick, the elderly, it's, it encompasses everything in, in, in everybody, you know. In the early 50s, 1950s, there was a lot of uh, racism, you know, Māori here, Pākehā there, or Tauiwi there. And these, those pools are still here today. We've got this, so this was the Māori side, and over the, across the, uh, the driveway there is the, the Pākehā side. So that's how it was, you know. And, yeah, no one could, um, you couldn't cross over. But it's safe to say now though that uh, those pools on the other side that once used to be the Tauiwi side are now back in our um, ownership, the, under the ownership of the trust. So tell me about the renovations. What made you do this? What's it all about? There used to be an old prefab building that stood for, I don't know, for 50 odd years or so. It's not what you see today, today you can't even sort of gauge or fathom what it used to look like. We definitely can't sustain uh, or man maintain our tonga if we're still operating um, as we were 10 years ago. You know, all the thoughts and the ideas that have gone into to making this a reality started 30 years ago. That's one value that our tūpuna had left behind for us. Uh, was to ensure that we give to the pools rather than, you know, take from it. Eh? That was very important to him. It was a very important to him to point out the people that work there, the people that helped build what it is now, the volunteers that put mahi into making Nafa Springs what it is. And obviously with the new development, the upkeep, the maintenance, you know, the workers here, they give so much of their time, even voluntary. For us now, will be in a better place to um, advance our, our people in that space and getting them out of that voluntary work. And, you know, kia, kia whai muni ai rātou, kia whai oranga rātou. Ara i te mea kia whai muni, ngari kia whai oranga mō rātou whānau, you know, so that they can sustain their, their, their whānau and be able to put food on the table for their, their whānau, you know. That place is definitely a destination now. I think they've done a stellar job. Uh, they've definitely weaved the Fakaro Māori, the pūrāko of, um, of the history of the place, whilst also creating a modern environment. I want to go back, that's how good it is. 